national champion is clad in and big on. orange. He called some of the most memorable moments in Tennessee Vol football history tonight. We are remembering the life of beloved broadcaster John Ward. Our coverage of the legend continues on the UT campus. WBI, our 10 News anchor Beth Haynes joins us there live with much more on his life and just the impact he had on so many in East Tennessee and beyond. Beth. Yeah, Rob and I can't get enough of that call and I know that's what people are saying all across the state and the nation for that matter as Tennessee fans and just admirers of John Ward. Remember the legend that we knew as the voice of the balls. Many grew up listening to him on the radio, certainly painting the field, painting the play on football Saturdays here in Knoxville, T Tennessee, sharing Rocky Top with folks across the state. Ward called Tennessee games from 1968 until March of 1999. Actually, you remember he called that championship win, the national championship win against Florida State in January of 99 and went on to do play by play for basketball that season, concluding his career in March of 99. He's known for his famous call. Give him six. The broadcaster died last night at the age of 88. As we look back at his life, we're also remembering the times he stepped out of the booth and stepped from behind the microphone. Years ago, John Ward joined Bob Kessling for an April Fool's segment about Bob Jones Automotive. Robin, I know you remember this one. Let's take a look at that story. These are Tennessee fans listen to Vaughn Network broadcast each season. John Ward's familiar voice has called Tennessee games for over 20 years. Ward mentions the Vaughn Network staff on each broadcast and closes the credit run with... Travel arrangement, Bob Jones, automotive. Ten seconds for station identification. This is the Vaughn Network. This is Bob Jones Automotive on Watts Road in deep west Knoxville. It is here every afternoon now. You can find the voice of the Vols, John Ward, doing his newest occupation, being an auto mechanic. The shocking story is that John Ward is set to step down as the voice of the Vols to go to work for Bob Jones Automotive. John. John, excuse me. John. Hey, hey. How you doing, John? Good hey, you. Bob. How, how are you? you? Glad this, to see you. We got to ask you about something. We heard some reports that maybe you're thinking about giving up your broadcasting to do this full time. Well, Bob is planning to expand and open on Saturdays, as I understand it, keep the place open, and he needed somebody to sort of help. And, uh, you know, it was an opportunity that I just couldn't pass up. Hmm. It's, it's kind of... Excuse me. I've, yeah, oh. I'll be back. I've got to oh. get back under here, Bob. Nice to see you. Yeah, John, uh, he's caught on to this real good, and I don't think we'll have any problems. Well, I'm not really surprised, Bob. Uh, he's been talking about it for some time. I think his life ambition is to be a, a grease right, monkey I'll... and on a truck stop, maybe, some, yeah. somewhere along the way. <laughs> And we've been around there for a long time, and so it's probably time for some new blood. But it's relaxing. It's an opportunity to learn something I really enjoy doing. John, I see hey. that all over here. Oh, okay. Here, Bob, can you take this over there? Sure. Yeah. Give him six. Pretty good April full segment for sure. And of course, Bob Kessling, former sports director at WBIR, went on to follow in John Ward's footsteps as voice of the Vols when John Ward retired in 1999. Many people in the sports world grew up with Ward's play by play calls. He certainly inspired them. Cheerston Susell stopped by WNML to hear from them about the legendary broadcaster. Thank you for calling in. Do you have a uh, memory or story you'd like to share with us? You didn't have to know him personally to have a memory of the way John Ward impacted your life. Today is a day dedicated to sharing those memories. It's the only story that matters right now is John Ward. Because of the way that John Ward touched so many people in East Tennessee, I still have people that will ask me about, you remember when John Ward had this call, that call? This guy touched so many people in East Tennessee that when with his passing and the word of his passing, you scrap everything else you have. As the calls continue to roll in, there's something that stands out. No matter who you are or what your story is, they're all consistent of who John Ward was. And he was just so gracious and so kind. There was an attention to detail and a care for people that impressed you the most about John Ward. That's a terrific yeah. story, Kathy. There's another one of John Ward, yeah. John Ward going above and beyond. 
Then there are the stories of the pictures he painted through his calls. Even if you were just out driving and listening to radio, it was like you were there. No. John Ward was football to me. He was sports to me because my dad's such a massive Tennessee fan. John Ward had the theater of the mind down. He created and painted the picture for you. He was able to set a scene that did make you feel like you felt the intensity that they felt inside the, the stadium or inside the arena. Each memory, a story that will last a lifetime. When I got the picture back, it had a little halo over his head. I thought, well, that seems very appropriate considering uh, what's transpired in the last couple of days. He was certainly the master communicator, the ultimate professional, a perfectionist. But more importantly, he was a husband for 50 plus years. He lost his wife, Barbara, a year ago, and he was a gardener and a golfer. And you can't walk on UT campus without thinking of him. Robin, he has left us with a lifetime of memories. Lee, and we are so glad that he decided to stick with being the voice of the Vols and forego being a mechanic for sure. Because yes. boy, he touched, as you said. <laughs> So many yes, lives. we are. <laughs> All right, Beth, thank you very much. John Ward did. He influenced Vol Nation in so many ways. To his colleagues, he was an outstanding announcer who always pushed to be the best at his job. Everybody wants the spotlight. Not everybody wants the hours and hours and hours of prep time that, that gets you there in advance. And uh, John was voracious at that. I mean, he was, he was never unprepared, nor would he allow anyone around him to be unprepared, which is, is, a, is a, a, a high compliment to his professionalism. I mean, if John Ward was going to be involved, it was going to be right. And right now online, you can read about John Ward's career in the Vols along with statements from UT officials and alumni about his passing. There you can also hear some of his play-by-plays from classic Tennessee Vol games. All that at WBIR.com.